really looking forward to Iris's cooking. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aw, oh, don't be that way. It's different when a girl cooks for you. I like how we can just fast travel over here, though. That was kind of refreshing. Uh, let's see if I can buy anything how from the shop doing? over here. Uh, Phoenix down. I don't really know what else I could use. Key items. Bye now. I think I'm good on everything right now. I need to figure out how to repair the car. You know what? Let me check something out really quick. Okay, we're good on everything. I love like the little doorbell. I always think someone's at my door. I'm like, what the hell? Uh, leisure goods. What the hell are all these things? Oh, nice. Portable MP3 player. I still think that's like funny that that's in the game. In case you can't get enough of the soundtrack, have it on the go. All right, let's start running through here. So currently, uh, I don't know. I I don't know if we're like at the halfway point in the game or what. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep going, man. I I can't be stopped. Someone's gonna have to pry this game out of my cold dead head. We're about to board a boat, so I'm guessing the free roam aspect, it kind of comes and goes. Like that mission we just did, I, I can kind of imagine that uh, we're going to have a lot of those type missions coming up. Uh, even though that was really short, we just went in and cleared out some demons. Let's get a shot with the lighthouse. Hair blowing in the breeze will be seaside supermodels. This guy wanting to take some pictures, man. Not now, though. <laughs> we took one earlier. Not really feeling it. Maybe another time. Aww, but I wanted to be a seaside supermodel. I gotta stay on, on track over here. I I just really want to see what happens with the story, you know? I hope everyone lives. That would be nice. Because usually in Final Fantasy games, it's like there's always a character death or whatever that ruins it for me. Alright, let's see what happens. This is a badass looking building, too. And here we go. Interesting toy you got there. This? It's just something we picked up after taking out some Imperials. Well, I'll be Crown City Maid. If you like, I can make this puppy better. Give it more oomph. How? I can mod it for you. Mod it? Look, I got diddly squat to do what with Cindy taking care of the garage. If you can find the parts, I can do the work for you. And where do we get these parts? Down over that way, among the discarded scraps. Pick up whatever looks useful and bring them to me. All right, once you depart, you'll lose access to the open world for a while and rental. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and set sail. I came here for that reason. Glad I'm not going in alone. Those always scare me because it's like Phoenix Downs only work <laughs> the other way around. You know, I can't be throwing them on myself after I'm already dead. Look, Prince Noctis, even the Marshal came to say goodbye. Let's talk to Iris one I more guess time. It's goodbye for now. Damn, don't get all emotional on me. Here we go. Something I gotta get off my chest. What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king. 
But I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. <sighs> I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in them, always. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Magic flask, nice. This is a badass looking boat, man. Waiting Let's for do an this. Invitation? Get your asses on board. Hey, your majesty. What's up? Please, come back soon. We need our king. <laughs> yeah, count on it. That's the shortest chapter ever, man. Alright, I guess we're on to chapter 9 now. Just glad he can finally join us as far as the level. They. Oh, what? How did he just jump off? Oh, my goodness. He went straight up to second place now. That's kind of funny. I guess maybe whatever he did while he was gone, he got the experience for it. Who knows? Uh, any pictures worth saving? That's a pretty cool picture. I'll save that one. Why not? Oh, that's a good photo. How can you not save that one? Alright, I think I'm good. <laughs> I think we're good, guys. The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian. And you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead, the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, knocked. Yeah. This is amazing. That was a long, like, dialogue, but felt like necessary almost. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, 
entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. All like, oh shit. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. I can see what they meant about the second half of this game being non-linear, because if we're going to be stuck here, there's really no way to explore anything. Where's he going? Just go all the way next to the waterfall, shall we? Sid seems like a good guy. A lot of knowledge. That's it. Got to gain entry. What's next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more. Sir, See if this guy lets what us is through. the purpose of your visit? Purpose? Uh. Uh. Should I gonna leave, leave it to Sid? Sid, it's all yours. Hey, didn't we just? <sighs> Well, we're here to visit uh, a joint. Maga. Mag. Maga is the name, yeah. Never heard of it. Unless you're referring to the alternate entry program. In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. Mm, this amount should suffice. Oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. Well, that's some bullshit. Down to zero money. Was it Kingdom Hearts? It was called Monies. I can't remember. You want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Might as well just kind of roam around too. I don't know if so, anybody stops looking us. Looking for the guy from the picture. An estranged friend of the king. Not. You ever meet him? What the nope. hell? <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off. Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. Symbol of the peace. See the wedding dress on display. Is that the main objective? Hang on, let me see something really quick. Like all the quests we can eventually come back. We're on chapter 9 calling. Let's see. Now there's still the one. I did take down a behemoth a couple videos ago, but I think I cut it out because it really didn't add anything Hello, to boys. the video. Feel free to browse at your leisure. Holy shit, I can't buy anything. And there you are. Memories so of what in the world? Hang on. Original soundtrack, nice. Yeah, Final Fantasy VIII? Or that's not 8, that's 13, excuse me. I saw this as 7, and I thought this was 8, and I saw the X, and I was like, oh shit. If that was a V, we'd be in business. Uh, let's see. Thank you very much. I just had to sell something, because I had no money. Man, when I, when I record these videos, I don't think I've ever had a game go by as quick as this one, as far as uh, being able to record and like edit and upload and everything. It just goes by so quick. You know, I watched the, uh, Conan. He did, like, a review thing of this. He kind of made fun of the game. I mean, it was it was a funny video and everything, but they were at this part. I thought they just showed the start of the game. He wants you a picture. should be pretty close to a famous photo spot. I mean, I don't know, man. 
What do we even get for these? Let's just do it. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. Photo ops. How close are we? <sighs> oh, it's up top up there. If we can get up there, then I'll just go do it. I think you do get experience. Plus, he he actually levels up the photography thing. So. This way to the dress. Yep, same street as the estate. Ooh, right up here. Seems we're on the right track. The one thing, even though I do want to beat this game for you guys, I don't want to rush it. So I'll do some side quests occasionally. Oh, hold on. We're here, so. That's so weird. Look at that. It the X pops up. Okay, finally it pops up. Here we go. I'm pressing X. There we go. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Ready or not? the lighting. I mean, you get a decent amount of experience for doing that. We got 400, which I don't really know how on a grand scale if that's Just actually a lot or not now. But. What is it? So we're supposed to go to West Chem's bar. This is just so funny, man. City on the sea. I mean, if there's something like this that really exists in real life, like, I gotta go there, because this is nice. I'm just waiting for, like, something to happen. Like a zombie outbreak, or... Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> Check this out! I didn't think we were gonna see any caves anytime soon. I started, I started kind of, like, wondering... Okay, when are we gonna absorb anything? Oh. Clearly, we're about to fight something, so... I can't thank you guys enough, though, for just supporting this series, man. It is just... It went from a, hey, let's test this video out, to a full-fledged series at this point. And I'm not stopping playing this game till I beat it, so you guys will see the ending most likely. I want mine to be like that. And it shall be, my love, as surely as I am your... One hell of a crowd. And that's the dress. My word. Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Yeah. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah. I'll think about it. <laughs> Still gotta find the bar, so... Wait, wait, is this it? This might be it. So guys, it took me a minute to find this. I'm not even sure if this is the right thing, but... The <laughs> restaurant we're trying to go to, or the bar, is actually on, like, sea level, so... I think this is how you get there, but I'm not sure. Here we go. Uh, shit, I don't know, man. Floating market station. I guess you could literally go to any of these. Hold on, let me see something. We're right here. We're trying to get across. Let's try this one first. Guess I go there and they just drop you off. One of these has to work. Hey, let me see if I can skip this. Or oh, actually, no. There's the bar right there. So you're gonna let me off right here, fam, right? No, I'm gonna keep on going. That's that bullshit, man. Oh, no, he's not. Here he comes. Hell yes. So I don't have a car anymore, but I do I have a, a sweet horse. ride. All right, you can stop here. Gentlemen, oh, thank goodness. It has been a pleasure. Nice, we made it. It took forever, but we got here. I was above it trying to find a ladder. <laughs> I had no idea. Welcome to Okoro, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Waskamama, as you gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Huh? 
So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. Ask about the Empire, ask about Leviathan. You know what? Uh, I'm curious about Leviathan. Or Leviathan, Has anything me. changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? I guess we're good, really. I don't think it matters about the other stuff. We're good for now. Like his eyepiece, oh, my though. My dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. All right, welcome. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that word. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh. Okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. Bet the view's even better from a gondola. Alright, so my guess is we get basically Splendid. everywhere Where are we off? by this. That's like our main source of transportation. Hold on, let me Gentlemen, see what that's at. It is let me look on the map. So we're supposed to go right there, so we need to get to the one up top right there. Been a pleasure. That's so easy. <laughs> Just pick where you want to go. The thing is, usually you can sort by quest. There we go, Lavelle Station. Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. <laughs> Have a look at this, Noct. What about it? All right, we made it over here. Luckily, uh... A little bit of fast travel action, Tiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. You can now revisit past memories, summing. Oh wow! Oh hell yes! All right, let's go to the first secretary state, which I know for a fact I'm gonna have to hop back on the. Uh, the good old boat. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. All right, let me see something. I, if we can't go back on this, that must mean. So, oh no, we can. Take... All right, let me look at the map. All right, where are we going? We're going over here. Uh, so this is a spot where it can. We need to go to the quarter station. Cruise. There it is.
Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. <clears throat> Alright, I think we made it to the right spot, unless... Hang on. Let me see something, if there's an option for that now. Which there's not, so... Alright, let's go. Let's go, guys. Pretty sure I go over here. Alright, so we gotta get up top there. Probably takes a going down this side over here and then going up around. Potentially, I don't know. We're back in the main area now, so maybe this uh, maybe this is the right way to go. Like I'm see, I'm going away from it though. Unless you go this side. This place is so confusing to me. It's like uh, it's faster to travel by doing this over and over. Check it out. <laughs> Just keep on moving, guys. I bet you if somebody does a speed run, it's just gonna be like 12 hours of this. And then like running away from every fight that's like an option. Yeah, because it's weird. It's like when you run, sometimes it just randomly stops you like you're out of breath, but you didn't do anything. Oh, there's some... uh. There's some stuff up here. Hang on. I want to ride my chocobo all day. <sighs> Can't get it out of my head. All right, it's up here. Hold on. Please be the right spot. It is right here. Finally, we made it. Nice. Here we go. Unable to return to the city. All right. Might as well. Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Express gratitude. Gotta start like that. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Wescombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Uh, demand to see Lu Oh no. You know what? The hell with this. I want to see her now. So hasty. Surely you can spare a moment to talk. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with the Archean. Tell me, what happened? Uh, I'm just gonna be real, I guess. I've never been one to be quote-unquote cheeky. I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Show concern. Let's just be realistic. Not much you can do when it comes to gods. You'd suggest I accept my city's destruction? Um... Nothing of worth to contribute? Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation.
All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? You know what? I'm gonna accept casually. Like, yeah, yeah, I get, I get stuff like this all the time. We'll help however we can. Lest you forget, this is a business deal. A flippant attitude will earn you a flippant response. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. You understand what I must do. I will stop at nothing to protect my people. I guess I'll return the threat. How about that? There will be a reckoning for you, too. A leader must know when to bring out the steel. Surely you understand this. I think I get it. Yet, getting is not the same as accepting. <laughs> still so young, and still so much to learn. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I have confidence you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. <laughs> Surprise, I got through that. I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten-odd years. 